Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing Vladimir Midlane versus an Echo. Also, I think he was a Challenger Echo too, so this is going to be hard because I'm not the most proficient at Vladimir, but I do understand the champion enough to know what he needs to do to succeed, but can we get it to that point? Because he is definitely is a scaling laner who is absolutely ridiculous uh, if you can make it to like two or three items in high levels. Uh, he has really high cooldowns early on, so that's kind of what makes him... Uh, kind of struggle during the early game. Of course, there's plenty of times where I've seen people actually kill people early on as Vlad if they disrespect you, but uh, normally they have to make like huge misplays for you to actually uh, punish them. So I'd definitely say it's not uh, a generic thing to happen. So I'm going to auto attack this one creep to get it low. So hopefully they uh, are kind of dying at different speeds so I can easily last hit it with auto attacks. I'll have to use Q here no matter what, but that's okay. Oh, I was trying to get Q there as well on him. Because Vlad is a point-and-click champion, it sometimes is kind of hard to... Uh... Oh, he's going to reach level 2 and then all in. Let's see. Or that's what he wanted to do, but didn't. The good news is that, believe it or not, that trade, I landed a Empowered Q on him, so it actually wasn't too bad. The risk right now is that he has Ignite, so that creates a lot of pressure on me to not die to uh, his all-in, because Echo has crazy good burst. So I'm just going to try to trim this. It's going to be kind of hard, because my E cost HP, so I actually can damage myself by uh, trying to fix the wave, so we're probably just going to have to let it crash. In this farm. I'm far away like this. Oh, uh, does that die? Dude. Couldn't even cue that one either. Bit of a bummer. Dude, I don't know where this guy went. If he reset or if he's grouping with this team or what. It's kind of nerve-wracking. There's a chance that he just ba uh, backed and bought another item, because Echo has crazy strong pushing power early game, so it's really difficult to punish uh, him just pushing for free. I was trying to get that creep. Darn. Oh well. We are creating a slow push ourselves, so we actually can reset. Or we just stay in lane until we finish our core item that we can buy, which is um, a Hextech alternator, which costs 1,050. The, the main goal versus Echo is just don't get hit by his 3-hit passive. As long as we don't get hit by that, um, creating won't go too bad for us. Oh, I could have queued him there, so... Well played, good trade. Used his W to shield himself. I mean, I'm not even looking for trades at this point. Honestly, I don't think it's good to do, because he's just stronger, since he got to buy and I didn't. Oh, I actually got the heal off. Surprised he went for a trade while... Or he mistimed his trade. I should say. Healing off a of creeps gives less health than hitting him, so that's why it's kind of important that I hit him with that empowered Q. So, I'm kind of lucky that it even landed. I'm just gonna pull the, um... Oh, Lee Sin's here too. Huh. I actually just die. Holy crap. For some reason, I thought that the Lee Sin wouldn't be able to deal enough damage, but... Well, I have per perfect purchase, so that's kind of nice. The bad news is that I miss a bunch of creeps. And also, Lee Sin got a free kill off of me. I didn't respect his damage, but at the same time, I had empowered Q. So there's a chance that I could have outplayed. Where I could have just landed an empowered Q on him and, and stepped up towards him and let him land the Q. Because I did just get a normal Q, which doesn't heal as much. So that could have been a problem. The only good news about dying early 
is that we're playing scaling. It would be different if we were playing an early game champion. Like, if we were just, like, dying on repeat playing, like, Kiana. Kiana does scale, but she's not a champion that you're supposed to be losing anyways. I think that she's definitely a champion that's like, okay, if you're not... If you're dying too much, you're going to become useless pretty fast. I think that Vlad is kind of different. I can't rotate down bot. I don't have boots or anything, so... They're on their own down there. He got first push because I died to the Lee Sin gank, and then because I died to the Lee Sin gank, uh, Echo got to shove in for free, and then I guess he reset and immediately went bot, so he's missing a big wave, but it's worth it because he got um, my team, so they're getting denied creeps as well. Oh man, I was trying to get both at the same time, because honestly, I'm just trying to shove this in. Okay, I got the tower plate. I'm going to try to back off immediately. We have magical footwear. These are the runes that I'm running this game. It's standard Vlad runes, according to at least the websites that I use, just looking at the highest win rate. This is apparently the highest one. So, that's the reason for going for it. Since he is melee, it does mean that we can step up like this and get good trades off, which is really nice. Oh, he even misses cannon. Huge. Okay, I mean, I don't know why this flood is on me, but... Alright, four people mid lane. I saw that this guy was 6, so honestly, I thought that maybe we could do something, because I landed a huge ulti. And how your ulti works is that it, it deals good damage and heals you, but it also puts a debuff on them. And the debuff increases the damage from everyone for 10 seconds. So Wukong, my whole entire team, deals 10% more damage to those people. So I was hoping that maybe we could do something with it, but... Uh, with Kled also being there, I guess there was just no opportunity. Oh, huge damage. The Empowered Qs are hitting so hard now. Yeah, because this guy's a melee, you can see that I can just kind of step up every single time he goes for the wave and just poke him out of lane. The thing is that I don't really know what to do with my advantage. I could maybe look for realms. Diving, honestly, is pretty damn strong. And you see how they're going for maybe a bot play? Possibly? That could mean that I could rotate. No, they didn't go for it, though. Is Bard just dead? It's not running towards me, so I can't really collapse. Uh, I'm just going to clear out Vision Control. I think that's one of the best things that I can do. The least in base, so I should be okay here. This guy's actually really strong, so I actually don't want to walk back in this way, because he'll just jump on me, so I'll just run down instead. And then I'll go back to trying to clear as fast as I can because I'm worried about the Wukong doing the Rift Herald and then Echo like rotates on him. I'm just going to use my pool here. As long as he goes for me, that's fine because I actually care about getting that that objective. It doesn't matter if he goes for me. I'll just use my pool to keep myself alive. I have to wait until my pool is back up. Before I can walk. If I walk in and I don't have pool, I am very vulnerable. I die very quickly. So. Oh, wow. That doesn't kill. A little bit of damage. We'll just trade back a little bit. I mean, I'm slowing them down, but... And I did land a good ultimate as well. Okay, nice. Oh, I got stunned. Doing that was actually kind of scary. Because the thing is, not like I I'm going to die because I had a pool and everything. But I didn't know if my damage is actually useful to get that Lee Sin. Because we saw him use Ward Hop. So I was like, I can flash. I had an empowered Q and I wanted to use it immediately. So basically we had a window to immediately do a big damage Q. And I was hoping my team could follow it up. But I didn't know if they could. So I was actually kind of scared that maybe this would just be troll. And then I just don't get anything from it. And I waste my flash. But thankfully, it looks like we actually did get an assist. Got a kill. 
even though Bard was there too and even used ultimate. Got a big wave in as well. I guess we're just gonna sell this. So this is fine. We have Night Harvester. Night Harvester is a huge item for Vlad because it gives these little damage things on everybody. So if you land a huge multi-man ultimate on... Not ultimate, but I guess E. Because your ultimate actually doesn't deal damage. It deals delayed damage. But you have huge AoE damage. So you can get five Night Harvester procs inside of a team fight, 150 damage to each person. That's, that's a lot for your whole entire team. Oh, nice. And we got boots. Very sick. Oh, there is a bard around mid. We're up 10 CS on the guy, and we're slowly going to become an absolute menace. Level 13 is one of the biggest spikes because uh, that's when your E cool or not cooldown, your E uh, level will be level 5. So when my level 5 ability E is ready, it's going to be on a 3.5 second cooldown. Okay, you just want to go. Dude, this is so weird. I didn't know if I wanted to collab spot to help out my team, but Wukong saying King mid because we can use Rift Herald to get the tower. It's like two split calls at once. I went for the Wukong play, but Kled went mid. But that's okay, because Kled went mid, that means my team is going to be able to push out top now. Aleeson's kind of spooky. He could be inside of our jungle doing like red buff and stuff, so I'm going to get a little bit of poke on this guy, phase rush out. They're not chasing, so they should be okay there. I'm going to ping that this guy's missing again, so we hopefully don't get lapsed on by that guy. I honestly think bot roam is good. I just need to fix this wave, and I should be able to next E, and then I can uh, head out. Oh, he's just dead. Nice. Is this warded? No. I mean, I'm going to halfway rotate... I don't think that we can do this. He just left tower, so I should just leave. Yeah, this was warded as well, so I'm out of here. Pretty sure the ghost ward that pops up is not supposed to pop up unless they actually see the ward expire, so... Should tell us that they have vision control. Nice. Bappy also has so many, um... I'm gonna just Q him, got phase rush here. My next Q is available soon. This guy does have Ignite, that's the scary part about this matchup, honestly. I'm gonna Q him again. Once again, huge heal, because I had that empowered Q. Okay, I healed off of that guy too. I have my ultimate ticking as well. Let's go for this guy now. I'm waiting for him to go over the wall. Nice. I didn't want to go over and then Bard stuns both of us. And then we're in a dangerous spot where Echo could maybe use his stun and stuff. I have my pool available, so I will face check. Oh, nice. Another kill. Yeah, that's the thing. You're just so damn tanky and hard to kill. So even though they tried to gank me there, it just didn't work out. I'm just going to flash on them. What I did there was I charged up my Q, and you can flash as you're charging it. And I also had my Q available empowered, so... Um, the longer you hold down your E, the more damage it deals. Except for that, it does cap out. So that's, like, kind of an important thing to look at. Um, I'll show an example. So, like, right here, you're going to see a bar. And you see how when it goes all the way up, it, it didn't immediately pop. You actually get slowed, so you can, like, hold on to it. That's the time to flash in, right? But you can... That's full charge is when it deals the most damage. So you can just... Right now. Like, you can do it really fast. You don't need to wait and hold it the entire time. You can let go pretty early. Not only that, but also delays your Q. Don't know if I mentioned that. This isn't my first Vlad game. I've been trying to do a few recordings of it. But as an example, your Q needs to be used and powered pretty fast. You can use your E to delay it. See how it's going slower when I'm using my E? where uh, it keeps the charge going for a little bit longer. So you can use that sometimes to delay it. So you get that empowered to queue off. Dude, why am I not balling here? Unless we like dive or something, this Echo's just getting free farm. We can't even like help out with this. 
Whatever. Let's just get Mint Tower. Mint Tower is like a huge objective, so it's not going to be that bad. Echo might try to rotate on us through the jungle, so I might get into a skirmish. Plus, I don't have any Q stack, so it's going to take Q two Qs to charge my Empowered one. When normally it always takes one, because whenever you use an Empowered Q, it gives you one more stack. So when you're at zero, it's like kind of awkward, because that's the only time when it is not every other Q. You have to press it twice. Otherwise, it's every other is Empowered. I was going to go Death Cap second, because that's what it says the highest win rate is, but I didn't have enough for a Needless, so I figure going for Shadow Flame isn't that bad. It gives HP as well, and Vladimir's passive is that his HP turns into AP. It's not really that effective at doing it, but should be good enough. Clyde is coming bot. Is there, like, multiple people bot? That's what I'm wondering. Like, it'll be Clyde and Echo are here. Okay, I mean... Aw, I just needed to press Q on him once, and I would have demounted him, but whatever. I'm like full HP, and he's super low, so even though I use my ultimate, it's a one minute cooldown. It's not too long, and he loses all of his pressure. He Now he's screwed, right? Because he's just about to demount. I don't think he could realistically ever fight me. Even with a teammate coming nearby, he probably can't fight, so demount him. And now he's in an even worse spot. We can just continue pushing. Vladimir is a pretty crazy 1v1-er, so... I'm not even going to stop his base. He can base if he wants. I don't care. I'll just continue pressuring. I feel like he was faking his base to try to get me to walk towards him so he can get a nice Q off. I I don't care. If you're going to base, I'll just be able to hit the tower more. That's okay with me. It's not even 20 minutes into the game yet, so they don't even have uh, home guards either. Uh, let's rotate mid just in case this Echo goes too aggressive here. Oh, see you later. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, we shouldn't take the inhib. It's bad, so we should just back off now. Getting inhib this early is pretty bad. Only because Baron's not up and Baron is a game-ending objective. Like, getting an inhib means that it's like three minutes or four minutes of super minions. I don't even know, but... During that entire time, we don't even have an objective that's really that important. Getting dragons isn't going to end you a game. It's just going to give you a little bit of stats. Baron literally ends games because it gives you... Um, it makes it so minions are harder to kill, so sieging is possible. Sieging isn't the easiest, uh, depending on the team comp, even when inhib is down. So they could just free farm the inhib because every single uh, wave will give that super minion that gives like 90 gold. And not only does it give 90 gold, but uh, it's going to be killing our own wave it's going to kill their wave, basically, because we'll have the supers, and then that denies us gold because nobody's going to get it. The supers are going to take it. Hopefully we get into one team fight before they FF, by the way. I honestly feel like they... I think that they feel pretty doomed right now, so... I'm hoping for a fight to break out, because all I've been doing is just farming this entire time, but that's honestly what Vlad does until, like, a big skirmish can break out. Maybe here. I can pop ghost. Okay. This guy should die as well. She doesn't really deal that much damage to me. By the way, I'm at like one and a half items. One Q. Oh, he just died anyways. Oh, hey. I'm, I'll, I can just full tank this guy. He won't even deal that much damage to me. Okay, well, he one-shot me. Never mind. Uh, my Q was mid-cast, which would heal me for a lot. So, honestly, I thought I was just going to live. I'm surprised at how much damage the backswing of his Q did. So, my bad on that. But I'm glad that I even got into a team fight before the game ends. God damn it. Oh? By the way, Fappy's my friend, so he's just memeing. He's not actually being toxic. <laughs> I know that some people might not know who he is, but, um, and be like, why was that guy flaming you? You didn't even do anything. Oh, he is Lich Bane. All right, now I understand why I died. So. Dude, Tristan is going crazy. My God. <laughs> but yeah, I was not even too core yet, and you saw how 
easily I could kill Sivir. That's because we're at our power spike, right? My E deals almost 600 damage, and it's on a 3 second cooldown. So I have an AoE ability that's easy to land when I'm on top of people that deals a ridiculous amount of damage and will only become stronger from this point forwards. And then I also have a Q that deals 600 when it's empowered, too. I was seeing if maybe they would try to contest. Also, this ward, I thought maybe they were TPing, but they're not. Just do it. Nice. Now, I did use Flash and Ghost, so that's kind of a bummer because... Those are kind of important cooldowns to run people down, because at the end of the day, you are short range. That's also useful for the phase rush, so you can also chase people. But we'll have Ghost very soon, and then that will become so much easier to do stuff with. Uh, I am not there, so it's honestly could turn into, like, the most terrible fight ever. Yep, everybody's dead. My bad. I must have gotten people killed. We didn't even need to, like, uh, dart the Baron. I mean... Don't think that's on me. I couldn't even pull before I got 100 to 0 by Echo. He did 2,000 damage. Well. The good news is now the game will last longer, so I can make it to like 3 core and stuff. But... The thing is that it's going to be harder to- Oh wait, this guy's so squishy. Oh, we're fine. One good team fight is fine. The thing is, Vlad is also useful because once again, that 10% increased damage on the ultimate means that our whole entire team will be dealing a lot inside of team fights. So, I'm not really too worried. Plus, also, we're doing good dragon-wise as well. But people have, like, the worst mental breakdowns so fast. If a game ever starts going poorly. But... Oh, that didn't hit her. I was trying to see if maybe she was, like, looking to hit me there, but... Mm, she's ghosting away. I don't think we can catch her. Dude, she's almost dead. I just did so much damage there. If Echo dies, it's really good. He has no ult, but the thing is, I'm really low. I pop Ghost. I pull back up very soon. Dude, my Empowered ability didn't go off. I got that guy. I got that guy. Oh, please, let me heal. Oh my god, dude. See, that was a good showcase of why Vlad is ridiculous in team fights, right? My cooldowns are basically non-existent besides pool. Like, pool kind of matters a lot. But all I'm doing is just spamming my EQ over and over again. And I'm healing a lot. But also, I'm doing huge AoE damage and creating a ton of pressure. Because they can see this big damage ability coming out. And they don't want to get hit by that. So people can also even get zoned by it. So, they're trying to stall the game with that Bartle. I guess we can't end just yet. But now I can buy Deathcap very soon, so we can go for like a double Needless scenario. Uh, we need 150 gold to be able to buy that, so maybe I just go do like Scuttle Crab or something, as long as nobody else takes it, possibly. Uh, Timo wants to look for them here, but... I mean, I can't really follow it up very well. Oh, give me cannon. Okay, we, we got enough for the thing, so... The double needless. Our damage will once again skyrocket. Oh, please, let me base. Thank you. 
such a big buy. Look at our AP go from like 260 to 400. Also, we get tankier too, because AP turns into HP. Okay, well... <laughs> we could have just sat under tower, but, you know, it's fine, I guess. Maybe it was undefendable, that engage. I don't... I'm not really sure. Uh, I guess we'll just give this dragon. We just can't contest. We'll just do the uh, wolves for now. I don't really have anything to do. I'm not going to try to be a hero. It's, it's normally not going to go very well. Maybe if I had Ghost and Flash, I'd feel more confident maybe going for a hero play because I am playing a champion that can do that. <laughs> My champion is absolutely ridiculous at just going in 1v5 and getting everybody down to like half on his own within one combo and then it only takes like two rotations to actually kill. Well, see you later, Tristana. We have to be careful here about the Echo Stun. Don't want to get hit by that. This guy is really fed with the Medjais as well, so his AP is like double mine. If he didn't have that Medjais, we would actually be pretty even items. But he has a 25 stack. So, I don't even think we can wave clear, I guess. I mean, I was, I was maybe planning on it, but... Oh, why do I have to get hit by that, dude? Oh, he's dead. We instantly got him. I still have my pool, too. My chase power is not very good without Ghost. As you can see, <laughs> she just ran away. But that was good. They went forward, and honestly, I didn't need a pool because I realized that the Echo Stun expired, so there is no chance of getting Chain CC'd by Echo Stun and Bard. Oh, that least is holding our wave, so all we have is this one cannon. Does that mean we can end with it? Oh, we just take Top Inhib? I'm just gonna demount him, just to be annoying. Okay, we have our Death Cap now. Jeez, we're getting really strong. Plus, we have a, a Gathering Storm as well, so two more minutes till another Gathering Storm proc, and then we get even stronger. Ravnon's Death Cap, boom, huge buy, and then we can also start building... We probably should get a Stopwatch, but we can't afford it, so I'll just buy a Pink Ward instead. Buying an Amp Tome doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, we have 3.5k HP, so very tanky. And also now we have... a. Uh huge damage from our ultimate and everything really because we have we're level 16 so our empowered Q deals almost a thousand my empowered E deals almost a thousand look at the damage to Bard huge I'm looking for flank position because this is the best way to actually fight. If if they go for my team, I can go behind them and really really mess them up. Dude, what? We're I think we're going to turn play more than anything else. We're not going to do the baron cuz 50/50 is way too difficult. So we should definitely fight. Being pinged even though like the I'm in a really good scenario that if my team started it, I would be able to loot behind them and they wouldn't even see me because I'd be through fog of war. Okay, everybody's dead here. I kill everyone. As soon as they walked near me, it's just like, yeah, you're all dead. <laughs> I deal way too much damage at this point, so I can easily carry team fights. Oh, he ignited me. I can't even catch up to him. I'm too slow. He's gonna maybe get caught up by Soraka. Oh, I didn't even see the Trist. All right, nice Trist, nice bait, I guess, just jumping in and getting Echo to think that you're a free kill, so. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, Vladimir commentary. I mean, show the damage charts afterwards. I'm pretty sure I probably didn't do the most, but... 581 on that guy. And he has a wit's end as well, so... Damage stack. Oh. So anyways, it was a decent Vladimir game. I'm literally playing versus a challenger player. It's not easy for me to play as good as a challenger Vlad. That's the problem with me playing champions that I'm not competent on. Because I don't play them a lot, I need to play them very often to be comfortable on them. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. And, uh, yeah. So, give it to Fappy. Well played, man.
trying to give me clickbait of flaming top laner flames my blood. I guess. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Did second most damage. Actually did a little bit more damage than I was expecting. Did more than Echo, so... Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary of me playing Vladimir inside of Hilo. If you did enjoy, be sure to give me a like on the video and feel free to comment below about what you thought about it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching again. Hope you have a good day. And let me double check. Yeah, see? The guy's Challenger and also Echo Main. So that's who I was facing. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.